Ministers. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Lord, this guy is as smart as a whip. I am so happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he calls it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 220, NASDAQ down 14, S&P's off 2. Gold, gold contract down $61.80, trading at 2,402 an ounce. We have silver down a buck 40 at $27.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 67 cents. $68.28 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note up four ticks, 110.25. 30-year up 20 at 118.20 a king dollar. King dollar trading up, uh, trading down 15 ticks, 104.376. Euro at 108. Yen trading at 153. British pound, 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you come down fast, furious yesterday, volume, the whole ball of wax. You get, now check this out, man, because this is pretty cool. Because what has happened here, and if we do close where I think we're going to close today, you got your bounce, but you got your bounce intraday from the highs of yesterday. You did a 50% bounce, normal type of bounce, okay? Bottom line, you get down to that low, which I expect we're going to be, do, be doing, coming into the close. This, this is a continuation pattern into lower prices. That's on your E-mini. We go take a look. And, and that E-mini, by the way, check this out. You're getting real close to the lower range. The lower range in the E-mini is 53.90. We got to 54.32. If we hit that lower range, man, it's a whole different ballgame. NQs. Same type of setup inside the NQs. So we take a look at the NQs. What we have with the NQs, we get all the way to 19,390 and then hit a low. Well, we hit a low first of 18,883. We go to 19,390. It's going to be the same. You're going to see the same type of setup, which is pretty wild. This one went. Just a little bit. Yeah, I went over a 50% retracement. That being said, what you are going to see is that these are high volume lows, man. Bingo, right there. So my take is that we're, we're going, well, let, let's see what we did here. I think we just, so this is where the battle line should be set up. Yeah, it is, because we just, so the bounce that we just did this morning, we're at 50% of that. So the bulls and the bears right here are going to be lined up in a big way. No two ways about it. Gold. We go take a look at the gold contract. We got to look at silver, man. Silver's a trip and a half. So we take a look at the gold contract. Now, this came down at 91,000 contracts. Now, that is the good news if you're a gold bull, which I am. You know, but the bottom line is that... That being said, it couldn't bust out the highs. So what it's going to try to do now is get down to the lower level. And the lower level 
and here is the 2350 level. And right now, you're at 2402. We go to the GDX. Let's see how this baby's setting up. Because what has happened, even when the metals come down, you know, a lot of the equities hadn't get hit. Well, today we're getting hit. You know, you're taking out a swing point, and you're going to have an ABC down. Okay, so let's figure this out. Okay, so that's 3941. So you almost got, you got 270, which gets you 36, no, 35, what is it? Seven, no. 3550. Yeah, 3550. Right now we're trading at uh, 3619. We go to the note and bond market. Now, the note and bond market, this is getting volatile too, man. You know, the notes right now, they're up three. They were 110.25. We're at 110.25. We were at 111.08, man. I woke up this morning, this thing was up 11 ticks, which is a big number, and then gave it up. Now, this gets interesting because it's, you really have volume in this today. Let me see this. 2.7 million. It's almost, they sold this off in a big way. Well, this is actually bullish. Even though it's sold off right here, this is, this is pushing on the swing with volume. So we'll see how this shakes out, uh, you know, tomorrow. Because you can see the, these two days, yesterday it gave it up on price, but yesterday what you did do is 2.6 million contracts or 2.7 today. When you start pushing with volume like that, that does say that you want higher price. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have NVIDIA flat. We have uh, Ford down $2.40. That's a monster move because it's only $11 stock. You have uh, Advanced Micro down five and a half bucks. Life Sciences, Edward Life Sciences, uh, that really got smoked. That's down 25%. <laughs> down $26. Monster, monster freaking move here. Uh, you get Google down three and a half dollars. Inside the NDX 100, let's see what we have here. So inside the NDX, Lululemon is down 9%. You got uh, Warner Brothers off 5%. Arm Holdings Software is off 5%. Uh, you have... I don't even know what this is. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Old Dominion. Oh, Old Dominion is up $11. What is this? Let's look at this for a second. Because Old Dominion, that's a trucking company. Let me just look at this, man. Because these things actually... Look at that. So you get an ABC up. Hmm. Yeah. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness here. You get IBM putting 65 positive points, Salesforce 63, Caterpillar 62, uh, Boeing 34. Taken away from it. Honeywell minus 68, Microsoft minus 52, Amgen minus 13. Let's go take a look at Microsoft. You know, this is the stock that was just consistently going to the moon. And we just went a one way trip from 468 to 420. <laughs> this is the, and you're in the lower range again. That means that Microsoft can actually get down to, what is this, 388? Yeah. Unreal. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until August 1st, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and they never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus from purchasing Tiger Dollars, now is your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until August 1st. So lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks, Peter, for that heads up, too. So the role has, is happening in gold, folks, okay? And when I said that we didn't have volume, what ends up happening, I have my board keyed to the roll, meaning I've already rolled. I, I'm on the Z here, and the Z only has 91,000 contracts. That being said, the Q, which... There's still plenty of time to trade. August 24th is the is the D is the end. Bottom line is that yeah, you're blowing away a B point with volume. You know, so bottom line, we're going to the bottom of this expansion. We needed uh, yeah. So what is this? Let's see. Let's see. That's uh, goes my eyes again. 20, 24.88 on this one, I guess so. 24.88. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks, hundred and four bucks, hundred bucks, twenty three, twenty five. What is at the bottom? Twenty three oh four. Yeah, twenty three twenty five is the ABC down. But guess what? The bottom, of the consolidation is down at the lows. And you can see this too. That's kind of interesting. At uh, twenty four, let's do the GLD for a second here. If I do the GLD, yeah, you get volume too. Yeah. yeah. You need a volume of more than uh, 5.3 million for an ABC down, you get 8 million. So this is also going down to the bottom of, of its range. That's without the dollar moving either. So bottom line is that gold is always a trip. There's no two ways about it. But when it didn't make the, the top side of that, folks, it made, it made a huge difference. There's no two ways about that. We take a look at the, uh, let's go into NVIDIA for a second. So NVIDIA rejected 106. You're at 113. And what is the number? Yeah, the number that you have to get back inside, however, is 118, I believe. Yeah, it's 118. So you're in the lower range now. So we'll see how this, so, and you also broke it with conviction. So when you take a look at that, 118, 22 bucks. Yeah, that's saying that uh, 106, we're going, to, we're going to go after these gaps, man. That's what we're going to go after. There's a couple of big gaps there and there. And that's the way that looks. 
Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Moore, every t as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord hyphen oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, there's a bunch of gobbledygook going on, so <laughs> we can, we can we gobbly can go goop though it. with volatility, so, no doubt, right? Yeah, yeah, volatility it came out. I guess uh, GDP grew two percent or something today. And well, anyhow, it's it's, uh, it's it's try to figure out what's going on. Let's, let's take a look at chart one. Okay, I have it up. All right, the the top window is a ten day trend, and uh, when it gets down around point nine or lower which is all that shaded area, pink shaded area across the, see that. Yep. Across the, the, the chart. And it goes, this chart goes back a couple, three years, whatever. And we pretty much reached that point nine, pretty close to the top. And it was kind of a, a concerning time. You know, it, it works fairly well. But anyhow, that was kind of a bearish sign. It's kind of what I had several different indicators that were kind of leaning bearish. I did get out of the market on the, July 12th, and I'm, I'm remaining out of the market, and the reason why I'm going to stay out of the market is, is on page, or at chart two. Okay. And our chart two is, is kind of the same thing. The, the top chart is a 10-day trend, and again, at point nine or lower, you're normally some sort of a, close to a, some sort of a high, but in reverse, when it's a 10-day trend up around 1.2 or higher, normally you're at a, a low. And all the pink-shaded areas are times when the trend, 10-day trend, was up around 1.2 or higher. And it, these uh, trends, 10-day trends can actually, even during a rally, can be, be above 1.2. That kind of adds energy to the rally. But anyhow, right now we're at 0.99. And for especially we're in kind of a, a summer doldrums, I guess you might say. And even though we're probably near a short-term low here, this is not going to be a worthwhile low. The reason why, because the 10-day trend is not even near 1.2. I see. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And, and if you look at the 21-day the trend, which is... Um, I see that, yeah. The sec yeah, the second window up from the bottom, you like to have that up around 1.2 also. And neither one of them are. So I think... To get those trends, the 21-day trend, and or the 10-day trend, preferably the 21-day trend, to get up around 1.2 or higher is for the market to kind of go, uh, to actually decline. You know, you, sometimes you build it in a trading range, the trend will go up. Sometimes the market just has to decline to get the trend go up. But the market needs more work here, I guess. Uh, either building a sideways trading range or just declining to get that trend up around the 10 day trend up to around 1.2. So I don't, I don't think other than, uh, short term, you're not looking for any worthwhile bottom here. It's just not really set up for it. And if, if we can go and kind of look a little bit further here on chart three. Yes, I have it. Okay. Beautiful. I have it. Yeah. Okay. It's, Probably going too fast here, but no, no, no. This uh, is good. This is everyone wants to learn and know about that because no doubt in in that trading room, the whole ball of wax. You know, they understand these trend numbers, and you know, they 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 they're consistent, man. Which is really cool. What's really cool right. is that you just brought us up to date. You know, on the longer term trend, and that that's you know, at, it looks to me like at this point, that's important to really understand. Yeah, that's this. This is kind of important. You know, I don't know when this trend. The ten-day trend is going to get up around 1.2, but when it does, this chart's going to have relevance. Yes, and uh, uh, you know, higher the better. You know, 1.4 is better than 1.2. That kind of adds to the urgency that yeah, you're, you're it's time to get into the market. So, but you know, probably sometime I don't know. It could be August, July, September, October, or. Not July. July is almost over. It's probably not going to happen because July ends next, what, Wednesday or something. But, you know, somewhere in August, September, October, that 10-day trend, and probably since we're probably looking at a, a sideways doldrums for this summer for the next several weeks, if not the couple next couple of months, but sometime probably in September, October, that 10-day trend, 21-day trend will be up around 1.2 or higher. 
and we'll be talking about it on your show. Saying, yes. You know, this is not the time to be bearish because when that trend does get up there, that's people showing that they're on the sell side of the market because to get to get the trend up to around 1.2, you need more down volume than up volume, and you need more uh, advanced or more declining stocks than up stocks. That's the reason why to push that trend up to around 1.2 because the definition of the trend is the uh, advancing issue over declining issues, and that's over up volume divided by down volume. Yes. So, so to get all that you know up to 1.2, you got a lot of people pushing uh, volume on the downside on the down stocks. So, and that's that's where bottoms come from. So. Stay right there, um, Tim. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 332. NASDAQ is up 45. S&Ps are up 16 and a half. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. 
Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Brien. Yeah, Tim O'Brien. I like it, Tim. Hey, let's let's do that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tim o, Tom, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Just don't call me Sue. I love it, man. So we're looking at the chart with the uh, number three, chart number three, Tim. Yeah, okay, this is a short term. Uh, this is the SPY. I use SPY because the volume characteristics work a lot better than the SPX. But anyhow, yesterday the volume really jumped up about 100% higher than compared to the last couple of days. A lot of times that's kind of an exhaust move to the downside. It just you know, everybody's heading for the exit too quick and usually stops to decline. And now today, and also I want to point out, yesterday was down over 2%. I think it was 2.27%. Yes. 2% declines come in clusters. If you ever go back and look at a, a, a declining day that had 2% or more, that's usually only one of at least another one coming. I see. Uh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all probabilities, you know, how, I forgot what the probability was, but, but it's like the high 80s or low 90s. So once you get one, you're going to see another one probably within the next week or so. But anyhow, besides that, uh, we did have kind of exhaust move down to the downside because of volume. Today we're going to test yesterday's low, and most likely volume's going to be lighter than yesterday's low, so that's going to be support. And if you notice, the trend pretty much all day today has been pretty high. You got 1.64, we've been high as 2.25 today. Uh, so you got a trend, at least on a daily, you got one trend, and we're in the trend area, the, the light blue area across that Yeah, chart. and I see that, right. The, the, yeah, those are the times when the trend was uh, uh, actually 1.19 or higher, you know, 1.2 ideally, but, you know, it's probability 1.19 is high enough. But anyhow, that, that area looks like about 530 to 540 had quite a bit of panic in it. And the reason why yesterday we didn't have a trend reading high at all is 0.68, I think. But today it's been always above 1.2 almost all day. It's like, you know, again, we're on 0.64 right now. Yes. So we're probably at a short term low. We can't take out yesterday's low because we need to take out yesterday's low on higher volume, volume's going to be lighter. Uh, so we can't take out the previous low. We're going to try to take out the previous high. Well, previous high is yesterday's high, so which is where a gap formed. So, and then, you know what happened today too, Tim, which is intriguing with the SPY. So the gap, the, the 537.02.01 is a gap that's left over from June 11th. And we actually went to 537.45. That's the gap in the SPY. So that's pretty intriguing, okay. too. Yeah. So we're talking about yesterday's gap? No, gap that we're, what we have going into, the, the, the gap, there was a gap that was on the way up on June 11th. And the, the top oh, June of, 11th, oh yeah, way back there, right? Yeah, okay, so the top of that gap is 537.01. We hit 537.45 today, you know? Okay, I, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I, uh, yeah, that's, I should have... Anyhow, yeah, good point. So, uh, did you test that gap on lighter volume? No, it's heavier. It like, uh, it's heavier. I was, all right, we're going to come back down. It was only so 30. Anyhow, the gap was 36 million, and we've done 43 so far today. Okay, so yeah. we're probably going to test it. You know, so that's kind of my theory. So, we we're probably going to bounce here, and the first area of resistance <laughs> is a gap. So, if you go into a gap, and you test it on at least ten percent or greater lighter volume, that gap's gonna hold its resistance. So my opinion there's no upside here. Plus we had a two percent down day yesterday. Two percent down days come in clusters. Yeah, that stat so, is something else. I know. It's Yeah, so it this this is if if you're day trading, yeah, you could probably make a few points here, but you know, it's, you know how bottoms are. You know, oh, yeah. scare the crap out of you. you no, know, no, we for haven't sure. reached that stage yet, so right. Um, we're we're going to get slapped in the face a few more times, and we may just do that in the sideways trading range because I don't think anything meaningful of a top. I don't think we're heading into a ten percent decline here. I think at most we'll probably stay around this blue area, try to rally out of it. The rally fails, we come back into it. Yeah, because and the, the I think this. The, the blue area Go also ahead. goes down to what four twenty on the uh, 
it looks to me, 422. I think you have it nailed on there. One second. Yeah, 422. Right. The bottom of that's 422, right? That blue area? Uh, uh, so I'm a little colorblind. Well, I got a blue, no, five, uh, yeah, the blue five, area. No, the, sorry, Where man. Five, 522, not 422. 522 in that blue area. It looks like you have the you have yeah. it from 542 to 522. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 532. Okay, 32. I better get another pair of glasses. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, your glasses are as good as mine. Yeah, exactly. I got, I got what we call it, uh, a magnifying glass. So I can see it. <laughs> uh, trust me, man. I know. It was I like know. twenty years ago, we could see things. Tom. We could, Tim. <laughs> oh <laughs> so, man! Unreal. But anyhow, yeah, it's five thirty-two, and you know, up to around five forty-two. Okay. I think that's where all the. the the action is going to occur. We're going to try to rally out of it. And plus, you know, these gaps are not going to be open forever. You know, right. you go up and test right. them and can't get through them. You come back down. But anyhow, my, my scenario is is a blue arrow. Is that blue? Yes. I have a blue arrows in there. So I think we go up to the gap. The gap finds resistance. And we come back down, you know, because of the 2% cluster thing. We come back down, probably get some panic in that 532 area. Yes. And uh, from there, I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 it's a bunch of gobbledygooks, like I said. So Now, I, I, listen, I can uh, see that laying out, particularly, Tim, because what had happened is that because we haven't got a downdraft for so long, it was fast and furious, right? Let's say it goes you know, sideways for a couple of days. On the next one down, I can see the fear being bigger. You know what I'm saying? Because of the first one. And... We might yeah. not go down as much. We might make a bottom that day. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of those deals that we know that, yeah, first time they're scared, but not that scared. The second time, though, it's like, okay, hold it, man. You know, what's happening here? And you know, I can see that thing laid out, particularly because of where we're laid up uh, in the calendar also, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll do what it needs to do and stuff. And, right. you know, the hardest trades are to make are usually the most profitable. Oh, yeah. You know, they always say, well, right, well you're you going out and catch a knife. Well, there's enough information if you understand how the panic works in a market. Yeah. Because if you buy panic, you're only going to have to suffer a very short period of time. That's right. If you wait after the rally, they don't let you in because usually – once you have panic, you have a sign of strength if you do have a bottom in the market. Yes. We talked about that on the McCollum Oscillator. Well, the sign of strength is, you know, the smart money's buying, and, and there's no pullback after a sign of strength, you know, 90% right. of the time. So right. you really have to buy in the panic time and, frames. And, to, and uh, to do. no, that's right. And what happens, folks, okay, remember this program's archived, so you can go over these trend numbers with Tim. This is. You want to do this, folks. If you're in the car, remember, and what we also do, folks, is that we take this segment, you know, and put this segment itself on YouTube every day. So check it out, man. It's really important. Tim and I are coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate the growl on a problem with us. Dow's up uh, 250, Nasdaq's down 26, S&Ps are off one. And Tim, um, on that gap, right? And thanks, Dan, for giving me a heads up there. That it is more volume than I told you. I, I was doing the day before. So it's the gap is 63 million. And right now we've only done 45. This is the gap from the 11th to the 12th of August, or I mean, just uh, June. I just yeah, I see that. Yeah, because it, yeah, it gapped up. It was tested, uh, you know, the next day. Then it, then it kind of just the gap was tested on lighter volume that next day. So it'll be what, the 12th? And the market finally went up. So now we went and tested the gap again. Yeah. And uh, so there's a little bit of support there. Yeah, there is. The no, more we'll, times, we'll, right. Yeah, the more times the gap is tested, the less resistance or support that gap has. Yes. That's what kind of found out. So right. Anyhow, no, it's, it's just like. There's enough evidence that we're probably going to bounce here into the gap that was formed yesterday to the downside. Yeah, if we test that gap on higher volume, which is kind of unlikely because yesterday's volume was huge. It was huge. So I don't think we're going to get through yesterday's gap. Right. But, right. Yeah, we'll see. Cool. So, but anyhow. Okay, so. Yeah, it's kind of gobb gobbledygook. So I'll go to the next chart. I'm on four now, okay? Yeah, four. It's a momentum chart. And uh, the bottom window is the 50-day average of the up-down volume. We've seen this chart before. And uh, this is updated to today. I, I don't think the rally is over yet. Things things may change, but this is a two two and a half month moving average of the up down volume, and it's still above zero. As long as the hold is above zero, the uptrend's intact. And so all that, I guess, the shaded green area across the charts at times when that chart was the bottom window was above zero so so far we're above zero and we're going to so let's look at the shorter term picture which is on chart five okay and this is a 50 day 15 day average so it's just three weeks of uh, trading says two and a half months is three weeks so it responds a lot faster so it it caught the bottom back in march and kind of still staying along uh, this chart at the bottom window is the 15-day uh, average up-down volume, and it has to, this chart has to stay above minus 10 for the momentum to stay up, and it, so far it is, it's like minus one. And next higher window is the advanced decline 15-day average, and S2 has to stay above minus 10, and it's like minus five right now. So it's showing a little bit of weakness, but so far, it's still in an uptrend. So uh, what I want to look at is chart six. Okay. And so I'm, I'm, this chart is, what I'm looking for is divergence. So the bottom window is, a, uh, is this a weekly or is this a daily? Yeah, it's a daily. Uh, it's a daily chart of the uh, up, or advanced decline is the bottom window, but it's a cumulative advanced decline. And the top window is a cumulative up-down volume. So it's kind of similar indicators, but they're cumulative. They're not 
advancing, or they're not moving averages, they're cumulative. Yes. So this chart works pretty well in showing divergences. If you look, go look back at uh, uh, the first green area, which is basically mid-2022, the middle chart is GDX, and the, if you notice, I drew some lines on GDX, and GDX was making lower lows and lower highs. Well, both these charts were making higher highs. Uh, so that was kind of a bullish divergence going into the October of 2022. Market went up, and in, in uh, it'd be April, May of 2023, both those charts were making lower highs as the GDX was making higher highs. And that was a bearish divergence. And kind of the same thing happened in uh, November, December of 2023. Well, later that year, the GDX made higher highs. Both those two indicators made lower highs. And right now, we're still making higher highs on both those charts as GDX is making higher highs. But if GDX goes up, if, say we do turn around and make up a higher high again in GDX, and those two indicators make lower highs, I think on a short-term basis, you know, you're probably going to have a, a, a consolidation phase. And so far, that hasn't happened. The only reason why I think GDX will make a higher high here, uh, there's a short-term seasonality period for gold that turns bullish on July 24th and runs to uh, August 3rd. And this is, goes back 40 years. So there's a high probability chance that gold is probably going to take a rally here, or even though gold is down today, it's probably going to start taking a rally here that may last about a week or two, at least a week. And if gold, if GDX responds, makes a higher high, uh, and those two indicators make lower high, then you may get a uh, a consolidation along with you know the whole you know the equity market too. So I don't see what's you know even if you stay long here. I got the monthly chart got bullish back on May thirty first. We sold that chart. We showed that chart on your show you know several different times. Yes. And so there even there'll be a, a consolidation eventually. We are going to keep making higher highs throughout this year probably throughout all next year too and the year after i don't know but uh and they're, they're uh, making it I'm, tough <laughs> they're making it it's never easy folks that's the bottom line is that the, yeah, yeah it's never easy but you know if, uh, the monthly charts are bullish yes. they're going to keep going up but uh the weekly uh, this is a daily chart so what the pattern could be forming here is three drives to a top pattern where you had a top in that would be a, as he uh, may april June, there's a June top, a July top, and now we're at another higher July top. So you have three higher tops, but that second top off the second top did a re deep retracement against the first rally up. Yes. That's how you, that's how you kind of define what three drives a top pattern is. And all it is, it's not a long-term topping pattern. <laughs> It's basically what I call a timeout and an uptrend. Okay. But you go back down to where the first top began, which is basically where that neckline lies. So, which is around 32. So, to go back to 32. So, uh, it could be, you know, if you're trading market, um, that's a possibility that may develop. But uh, I think over the next week or so, I think the market's going to rally, even though G is down today. I don't think this is a final high. I think at minimum, You'll get in a, uh, probably the low 40s or something, or you know at least test the previous high. So we'll see how that develops. But uh, bigger trends up, short term trends getting a little mushy. So well, listen, we say about it. appreciate it. The update, the trends, the GDX, the ratios that you set up in a monster way, no doubt. And you know, needless to say, uh, we get some volatility. And we'll see exactly yeah. how this shakes out in the next, uh, you know, four to six weeks, no doubt, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be messy. So that's how I'm reading it. No, you know? I can so see it. it. it, it is, but, some, you know, summer's the going to begin probably later this, you know, maybe September, I think, September, October. And it'll be one of those, you know, nail-biting type things and which which I kind of like anymore because I, I kind of know what to expect. No, so I agree. You, you I agree. Listen, man, I... Yep. And they're a lot of fun because you make a lot of money quickly, but boy, they're they're uh, they're really hard on 
on your system. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> nail, they're nail biters until they're that. not. <laughs> and right now, I don't have any nails. I clipped them today. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Listen, man, you have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking there Tuesday, Tim. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, Thank man. You. Don't forget, folks, okay, what we do every day, well, every Tuesday, Thursday, this whole segment goes on YouTube also. Check it out. It's a, you know, great ratios. Come right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow's up 165, Nasdaq's down 111, S&Ps are up 18 and a half. Don't forget, folks, we got our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, tomorrow doing his live trading event. It's really easy to get into. You just come over to our website, at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front page. And then uh, Tiger Dollar Sale, that goes to the end of the month. And then I'm going to be doing a week from tomorrow, the live trading event. So that's going to be, uh, we're going to be doing the NDX, the S&Ps, the Qs, the SPIs, and the one-day options, folks, okay? And the one-day options on a day like today uh, are wet and wild, man. you got to love them. It's, uh, if you're in the option market, folks, okay, uh, you know, with volatility, these things are totally where it's at for uh, the amount of uh, risk versus the reward. It's just still risky. In fact, these are probably these are riskier than just about anything because they move so fast. But bottom line is that... Uh, you want things that move. That's 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 the bottom line. So we have out here today. So we got the S and P's are down 26. Nasdaq's back at a 200 down. 
Let's see what we got here. Yep, we're doing a full round trip. So, you know, you're already into the bar. The low is 883 on the queues. We're at 19,000 right now. The top of that bar was uh, 016. So 19016 is something to keep your eye on because what does happen here is that the highs of the lows certainly can, you know, basically give you some support. That being said, though, I just look at this one second. Yeah, you're only six minutes into it, and this has some volume again. We've done 19,000 contracts versus 39. We go to the E-mini. Oh, look at the E-mini. Oh, you're almost there. 432 or 447 and you get volume always remember folks the bank can claw your heart out the bull can run you over and thank god there's always another trade health habits and prosperity come back and visit tommy tomorrow morning kicks us off 9 a.m great show folks look at him folks